points of access with fellow points. Showing you how to improve access to your digital world. In this lesson, we're going to look at some common errors that occur when you are converting a PDF using OmniPage. Uh, first thing we're going to do is open up a PDF. So before I do that, I have to create a new file in OmniPage. By File, New, and then click Load Files. So on my desktop I have a file and I'm going to work with this one this is a interlibrary loan document of a chapter of a book and so we're going to do the automated process of converting this. So we've loaded the file, now we're going to automatically perform OCR. And we're going to skip the uh, proofreading stage. So when I finish uh, the automatic conversion, I can look at the document and see what kind of errors there might be. Right now the document is presented in this flexible view here. And so I'm going to come to the second page and I'm looking for errors see if there's anything I can improve. So I'm going to go to the third and instead of using the automatic proofreading, I can just visually proofread the errors that OmniPage thinks may exist. But these all look fine. Now in a case of a graphic like this that has text in it, I would probably reformat this page. So this would be an error for me. So I'm going to come back to this page, but first I need to change to the classic view. Now in the classic view I can see the table here. So I'm going to drag this over here to the right so I can actually get in close. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to delete all this material out of here. Now if I was making this for someone who had a visual impairment and used a screen reader, I most likely would um, have to put an alt tag on this when I convert it into a PDF file or if I converted it into a Word file, depending on what is their software of choice. What I'm going to do here is instead of it being a draw text zone, I'm going to come over to the tool and turn it to draw graphic zone. Drag around it like this. Sometimes it's you might even need to enlarge it a little bit more. This figure has this text, so I'm going to turn it back to the text tool. Oftentimes figures are turned into tables and all kinds of things, so you're going to have to manually go back through. Then once you have the change made, you just click automatic again with that one page only selected. And it asks, do you want to recognize the page again? And I say yes. So that's one common error.
we're going to open another file. And go through the automatic conversion. I'm going to skip the proofreading again. And the reason I open this one up is because it has an unusual error, but one that you need to be familiar with. And as we have this picture in front of us, you notice that it has a green line right here. That's an indicator that you have a picture on the page, and that is a picture. And it also created a text box underneath it for the figure, which is excellent. But on the first page, it made a picture out of the content on the first page altogether, except for this top bit. So what I would do again to fix this error is to click on the graphic and then press the delete key. Then I come back over here and create a graphic for this little emblem. Then I would change the tool again to a text tool and drag around this the area right here. So this is the first area that would read and then this will be the second area. Actually this is the first area up here and I'm going to show you the text flow but it's difficult to see what I'm doing with it so large so I'm going to zoom out I'm going to drag a box around this abstract and then this column and then this column and then finally this note at the bottom and then I'm going to come down here and click off this reproduce with permission. As the person reading this content doesn't need to read that. So now we're going to check the flow of the document by coming up to this tool called change zone order. So we click on that. So what you do is you click on the first item you want read, then the second, then the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh. And then you click automatic and it asks do you want to re-recognize the page and you say okay. As I go through each one of the pages I'm looking for misselection of content and when I find it I fix it. And here is a table and this commonly happens when a table has information, textual information within it. The OCR thinks that this is actually a table rather than a graphic. And so what you have to do is you have to select the portions that you don't want read and remove them. Then again come over to your draw text zone and make that a graphic. And then click automatic. The page will rescan. That may happen again on other pages. You just have to keep looking through the pages. Actually, let's go back up here and look carefully at this. Now this is actually a table and it makes sense to leave it in the format that it's at. However, I do find at times that when a table like this is made and is converted, it really isn't accurate. So we're going to look at that in the text editor over here. So what you do is you put your cursor inside the table and you move with your right arrow key through the content. 
and see if it keeps the data in the line with the rows properly. And so this table would be readable, though it's not necessarily marked up with headings and row headings or column headings, which is something you could do in Adobe Acrobat Pro DC.